Here we're running a Super Gen Series 9 model with an autofill. And as you can see right now, it's running at about, oh, I guess you could say almost 25 amps. And we'll hit the switch for the voltage, and you can check the voltage. And it's running right now about 13 volts, so we'll bring it down to roughly 12.6. There we go, and we'll check the amperage. And we're running right now about 22 amps. And this is the MagDrive SuperGen, as you've seen before. And this model right here is heated up, and it's running now up to full temperature. And as you can see it, we'll come up to the top and give you a basic description on this. This is our HHO output. This is our autofill, our fill and view port. This relay here controls the uh, pump and the switch that controls the pump, the uh, liquid level sensor switch. And this relay over here controls the gen. And if we follow the autofill, it'll take us right over here to the pump. And you'll hear that come on and off every, just like now, just buzzed on and off. And if we come back again, here's the outbound hose, and we'll follow that down, and it curves all around, and that brings us right here. And this is a super gen running right now, and we'll get down here so you can look at it. And you can actually see the outbound gas coming out of the gen right at the moment. And if you listen carefully, you'll probably be able to hear it. And there it is right there as it comes out and exits, and we'll go ahead and see if we can light it off. I think we just drowned at the end of the lighter. Oh, well. I think that's what we went and did. There we go. We got the lighter going again. So that'll give you an idea of the potency of hydrogen and oxygen gas. And we'll zoom back on it a little bit here, and you'll be able to see it. There we go, and you can see the way the gas is coming out on a Series 9 Supergen with autofill. And that's pretty much what it looks like. You saw it before when a cold start, and now you're seeing it now with a hot start. And it's running right now at about 200, 210 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's up to full temperature right now. And you look at it here, we'll come around the side. And you'll be able to see here are the two relays from the bottom side. This relay right here is the gen relay. And that relay over there, that one right there, that's the relay for the pump. And if you come around here, you'll be able to see, we'll get it over here. There's the anode right there, which goes into the stainless steel housing, as you can see it from bottom to top. And if you notice, you can see how nice and tight the fittings are here. It's all machined within a couple thousandths of an inch, and it's a compression fitting with uh, formed silicone seals, both bottom and also up on the top, on the underside. Of course, difficult to see because of the shadowing. All the bolts and hardware inside are all stainless steel, including the canister or anode. Truss rods are all zinc plated. We use actual lock washers or flat washers and nylocks for all the nuts and the hardware. As you can see everything is put together rather well and it's built quite sturdily. So that's about it for a Series 9 MagDrive SuperGen with autofill and that's what it looks like and 
this is what it's doing when it's heated up to full temperature right there you can see it and then we'll come across and we'll take a look here at the meter again and you can see it's running right now about oh 22 amps which is well within tolerance when it heats up it should run between 20 and 25 amps because it's fuse protected for 30 and that's about it so hope this video was informative and you got to see a little bit more and now you can see exactly what's going on when a unit is heated up and you can see the kind of outbound pressure that's generated in the hose as the gas is being expelled down here into the water tank and that's about it so thank you much I appreciate your time I hope this was informative and one more light off and there you go thank you much take care have a good day good night bye bye